In this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the hottest token drops you definitely do not want to miss. And these token drops are gonna be connected to NFTs that already exist on the market. So by buying these NFTs, you're gonna get direct access to these tokens. But with that said, let's go ahead and dive into what's going on in the markets. Now to start things off, we have to understand the origins of where the meta comes from. And if you're new to crypto, or maybe you just, you know, wanna get educated, basically in crypto, there are gonna be cycles of metas of certain strategies that work work until they don't work anymore. So a meta might work for a couple months and then it just doesn't work. Basically, if you've been following meme land and captains and everything they've been doing over there, they had a very successful token launch for meme coin. So essentially, if you held, you know, some of their NFTs, whether it was potatoes, captains or MVP, which are the NFT collections, then you are going to get allocation to buy meme tokens. So you get allocation, meaning you can buy the token early for a cheaper price. And then also later on, you're supposedly going to get airdrop more tokens. So basically you buy the NFT, you get access almost like like a whitelist to buy the token at a cheaper price because people believe that the token will increase in value as they list on different exchanges like Binance, for example. And meme coin is listed on Binance. So if you got in meme coin early as an early investor or someone who had the NFT and bought in early, then you're making multiples on your money depending on your situation, what assets you got and how early you got in. When people see the success of meme coin, what ends up happening is all the other projects want to copy the strategies. They'll look at meme coin and they'll copy how the breakdown works how the airdrops work. Now, will this meta last forever? It definitely will die out when too many people are doing it, but for now it is working. And so I wanna to talk to you about some of the projects that are taking advantage of this meta, and maybe it's something you should look into, right? The first project we're gonna talk about is gonna be Treeverse, which actually came out before Meme Land, to be fair, right? And essentially they're building an MMO RPG, which is the hardest type of game to make, and it's very hard to make successful, right? So you gotta keep in mind, first of all, you don't know if this game is gonna be successful or not. You just have to understand the narrative on whether or not people think that they wanna throw money into it, right? That's the most important part when it comes to this kind of trading. So Treeverse, if you go on the website, MMORPG, the game itself looks pretty decent for a game, right? And then when you kind of go down onto the website, you can see that they've been building for months and months. Every month they do a monthly update on what they're doing with the art, the progress in the game development. As you can see, they're on month 23 already, right? So it seems like they're really trying to build a game here. In the past, Treeverse has sold a lot of NFTs, millions of dollars of NFTs. They also raised funding, I believe. And so now what they want to do is launch a token through Endless clouds. Now, Endless Clouds is going to be like an ecosystem token where they're going to have multiple games. Treeverse they have another one called Capsule Heroes, and they're all going to use the same token. Of course, there are challenges to that from an economic perspective. For example, if one game is successful and the other is not, how do the economies affect each other? And if one fails, does that affect the success of another? You know, a lot of people don't have answers to it, to be honest. Personally, I know a lot of Web2 game studios have this issue as well, which is why they don't want to do tokens and ruin their already working economies. So you can think of any popular game, they all think of the same thing. Treeverse is going to be launching a token, most likely doing pre-sale for VCs and friends and investors and stuff like that. And then rumor is like, you know, if you have some of these NFTs, whether it's NF Trees, which is their first collection or like Treeverse plots, maybe you get some allocation, maybe you don't. Nobody said, but people speculate. And so that's why sometimes the price of the collectibles go up when people announce a token. If the current sentiment right now, people are very bullish on it. People are very bullish on Loopify as a founder. This person is quite good at marketing on Twitter. If you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Now, the next project we're going to talk about it's going to be Pixelmon, right? We've done an interview with Julio, CEO of Pixelmon. So I want to briefly talk about it again. They haven't announced that they are doing a token. So there's no like information about that. But if you kind of look at the website, it seems very DeFi-ish. There's a rumor that maybe they're going to be doing a token and that's why the price of the NFT might go up, right? Maybe you get allocation, maybe you get airdrop. Who knows? You can probably assume that they will drop a token somehow, some way and reward their holders. And so Pixelmon is one of the games that has been building for a long time, actually, especially because they were one of the biggest NFT projects in the past when it comes to Mint. They got acquired by Liquid X, which is, you know, a fund. And then now they're actually building this with a legit game studio and the background building this. So they got merchandise, they got casual games, kind of like hinting at just trying things out before the real game comes out. And you can see the game is going to be over here. So they're going to be more mid core games. This is kind of like Pokemon Arceus. If you ever played that, this one's more of a fighting arena style. So if you want to check Pixelmon out, definitely check it out. It's one of the more bullish sentiments I see in the NFT space for sure. All right, let's go into some other projects. This other one that I recently got put on my radar is gonna be Creeps. So Creeps essentially is a project by another company called Overlord. I guess you could say that's their holding company or that's their Yuga Labs, right? 
and creeps is like their bored apes creeps is basically like this nft collection where it's like these lizards right and from my understanding you know when i look at twitter there is a real community of people actually meeting up having conversations and stuff like that it looks pretty real to me i mean i'm new to this community so you know i don't know everything about it so the price of this nft definitely went up it was like you know 0.9 a few months ago in september and now it's all the way to like 2.2 2.3 right so why are there so many sales basically it's because they're launching a token right overlord is their call it an ecosystem story driven gaming ecosystem in my personal feeling on this is that they had collaborations with end which is a high-end clothing store they create products and essentially they're building a narrative they're building a narrative so that they can sell a token it's pretty clear right because tokens for nft projects everyone's looking at a token because it's where you make the most money for nfts itself the market right now is very tiny it's always been smaller than DeFi market so people are using nfts as a form of marketing in order to launch a successful token right and it's interesting because they're like an nft project they did some clothing ip collabs those kind of things or merchandise and then what they're trying to do is they're trying to flip it and increase the value of what the token should be by saying that they are building an ecosystem saying that they're gaming and it's all words right it's just nice graphics and words which gets people's imaginations going and gets people to speculate right it does work i'm not saying it's wrong i'm just saying that that's just what it is so overload is a web3 gaming and media universe building an immense game stories world it's all about narrative at the end of the day because the price of a token like when a token launches there's no use for a token so it's all pure speculation right and so by creating the biggest narrative that's where the biggest juiciest gains will potentially happen and i can see that's what they want to do right basically they're building a gaming ecosystem fashion this and that and this is their token i mean the visuals look cool and i'm pretty sure they're doing a pre-seed any token launch is always the same right friends and family pre-seed early investors all those guys getting first at a discount and then maybe if you buy the nft you have an option to buy tokens later or maybe you get airdrop and usually you have to get that at a more expensive price and the whole game is you build this big narrative so that there's secondary demand on the public market which increases the price of the token so that's pretty much how the game goes there so creeps is another project you might want to look at the next project we're going to look at is going to be the grapes this one is backed by Adamoka. you're going to notice like Adamoka is going to be backing a lot of these projects that do tokens essentially for grapes they got these games in the app store which i checked out they're kind of like okay but essentially they have some games in the app store they have some veterans that have worked on games or built games in the past that were successful and essentially they're trying to build this whole ecosystem of like mobile games right and then the parent company that is doing this is going to be called viker so you know they're doing play to earn games so you can see their games in the app store and stuff like that so grapes was one of the first projects to capture that narrative of like hey own the nft get token allocation right their token allocation and how they do it it's very similar to meme land from what i hear and that's not wrong you know so these grapes are going to almost three eve right two point eight four eth and of course it's like the way i speculate on it you know i don't know anything about grapes i don't know anyone on the team but it's just like of course there's always pre-sale and then i guess depending on the price you get early people are going to calculate like okay like if i own one of these grapes you know, how many tokens am i getting how much are these tokens worth and then so my guess is like this is this equilibrium point where the value of an nft will be determined by the token the token's value is determined by what deals insiders or early people got in the beginning and so if you find that buying a grape is a good deal you'll buy it all the way to the point where it doesn't make sense anymore and that's how these floors can potentially go up when there's no game right is it's not about whether or not there's a game the game that people are playing is the finance game and to see how you can make money by buying these assets and selling them it's definitely more speculation because when people talk about grapes it's not like everyone loves the game it's more like this thing is going to cook right so if you're interested in grapes definitely check that out all right next project we're going to talk about is going to be overworld so overworld is going to be backed by binance labs it's going to be a cross-platform multiplayer rpg so so what type of game is it going to exactly be it's kind of unclear right so they got trailers over here they got images the thing that is a bit confusing is there's no gameplay right it's going on narrative of what this game could potentially be so the mint price is going to be 0.15 they're going to drop a token in q1 2024 so the only reason why people want to mint is because they want the token airdrop right and so that's really the game here so what i'm learning here is that you don't necessarily need gameplay if you promise a token you got nice visuals right and i'm sure when if this is successful i'm sure you're going to see a bunch of other teams you the same strategy right because it's harder to build a game than it is to do splash art and a video so overall does have an nft collection so for activity there is volume for it you know people are buying it for like six eth four eth not like a lot of sales but you know some sales right it seems like you know this project's kind of cooking it's working it's narrative is working people are buying yeah i mean there's again there's not much to go off of there's no gameplay but the visuals look cool you know the floor price of the first nft collection is high but you know the its supply is low so it's hard to say like you know if there's like true true demand but yeah definitely people are looking into this so i'm just putting it 
on your radar for you to do your own research, right? I'm not saying any of these projects are gonna moon or anything like that. I'm just showing you what the market is talking about. And so with that said, those are the projects that we're gonna be talking about today. If you want to join my private community, make sure to check out the Parallax Genesis. We have the NFT collection, which gives you access to a community that's token gated, where you're gonna get the access to our community, people who are into the NFT space and sharing information with each other there. So if you're interested in that, check out the Parallax Genesis on any marketplace. Link is also in the description and I will see you in the next one.